Hi, I'm Dawn Michelle and this is Makeup or Breakup Blog and today I'm reviewing the latest that I got from Ipsy. I'm not sure what's in here, so let's open it and find out. I think these might be add-ons. Yeah, I think they are. I think I got some add-ons today from my friendly favorite Ipsy. <laughs> So I'm just looking through what I got here. And this is one of the add-ons here. This is the Mark Anthony True Professional Strictly Curls. Because I need to do something by my wavy hair. And I'm hoping to get a little bit more definition. So I definitely want to try this. This is a three minute moisture. I'm sorry, not three minutes. Three times the moisture. Hydrate and soften deep mask. It's free from sulfates, SLS, and parabens and phylates. So I'm really excited about that. Moisturizes, strengthens, and smooths. The other thing I got that was part of the hair care thing that I got from the Ipsy add-ons is this lovely brand. And every so often they pop up and I always try to get, you know, one. And this is the Perfect Repair Treatment Mask. So I'm really excited about that as well. Nice little container. Throw in your bag. Keep it going. Ooh, what's this? This is from Gloss Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Hair Serum. What? Well, we know that, the, you know, lately we're doing the CBD and not just uh, care for the insides, but also for the outsides, for skin care, for hair care. So I'm, I'm really excited about this. And they put it in this bag, which is cute and all, but I can't undo the knots. Look, it's made of plastic, so I can hopefully open it. There we go. Let's see here. So you can see it. It's a good size little bottle there. I'm going to, oh, with Ipsy, it's an exclusive. You can get 20% off Design Me Hair with a code. Nice. It's the perfect blend. It's supposed to smooth your hair down. Hydrolyzed soy protein, moringa seed oil, rice bran oil, and argan oil. Okay. I'll try it. If it's good, I'll get a bigger bottle. We'll see what happens. Next thing in the hair care is something from Trisola. Hmm, it's a leave-in conditioner. I might have put that so you can see it. I never heard of the brand, which is probably why. I'm always on the lookout for like hair care and skincare stuff. If you've been to my channel, you know the drill. So, ooh, okay. <laughs> Came out a little loopy there. It smells a little bit like coconut. Hmm. Yeah, it smells nutty. It smells a little nutty. So there might be coconut in there. I don't know. But... No. It smells good though. <laughs> it does. Okay, what's next? <laughs> okay, here's another little you know, bag that I got from the add-on counter. Yeah, they have like little sets you can get like two for like five bucks or something or three dollars. So I try to look out for those. Just for products that I'm interested in trying out because, you know, you only have so, I only have so much money and I just don't want to get something that I'm not going to end up using. So I would much rather like to try out a good size sample size, not something uber tiny, but I can at least get two or three uses out of to get a genuine feel as to whether the product's gonna work or not. So the next thing I see in here is from a company called CSEA, and I'll put the name of it on there. Really teeny bottle though. Will this do anything for me? Like what does this, okay, let me turn that. Oh, thank goodness it has a seal, which is nice. I have no idea. I'm hoping it smells good. Really nice though. Mm. Let's see, I'm going to try it on this hand because let's see if I can get it to come out. Ooh, that was quick. <laughs> Seal it up. It smells very clean. It smells like something I've smelled before. It smells almost marine-like, but not, if that makes sense. But definitely, like they say, see, it, it, it does have a, a marine-like quality to it, the scent. 
Okay. And what is this? This is from Ciate London. And this is their Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. This I gotta try. I've been hearing good things about it. So I will probably check this out. It gives me enough for at least two, three servings. So I should be able to get a, a good read on whether this primer is worth the price or better than what I'm currently using. See, I'll say London's a good brand though. Okay, so, oh, one more little to-do packaging, you know, okay. These things are cute, but they're also very, they, they tie it up in such a way that you have no choice but to break it. <laughs> I know they do that for, you know, to make it easier to differentiate and see through the bag what you're getting, but it's just annoying with the little tie knot there that, ooh, okay, I got brushes. Nice, what's this? This is, I believe, from Farrah Brushes. Very nice, I like Farrah Brushes, they're cute. And it's very soft. Seems like a, it's a shadow fluffy brush. And then this, I think is, oh, this is from Suva Beauty, S-U-V-A. And this is their 180. I'm always on the lookout for makeup tools, so this is very nice. Oh, that's pretty. Definitely using that. I don't think I have any brushes from Suva, so this will be my first. Nice. And that's it for my add-ons that I received from Ipsy this past month. Do you order from Ipsy? Are you an Ipster? Do you really get into the add-ons like I do? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already hit that like button, and even better, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you'll know my next video will be up. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to try these products and let you know what I think. Take care, stay safe.